He is smoking. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Parker here. So, I made a video of me going to Walmart and buying the cheapest subwoofer there and then proceeding to blow it up. And everybody, I got a lot of views on it. People seem to mostly like it. So, I figured I would make a video of me buying the cheapest subwoofer on Amazon and then proceeding to blow it up as well just to trigger everybody that is on YouTube. Triggered people seem to love to watch videos that trigger them, which gives me more views, so thank everybody. Anyway, I'm here on Amazon, and we're just gonna type down subwoofer, we want a 12 inch, because that's what size the box is that I have. And then we're gonna sort by price, lowest to highest. Okay, so when we start off here, you'll see we have this Soundstorm and it is $26.07. This is the 800 watt single four ohm subwoofer. So let's check it out real quick. Yes, that is definitely 800 watts right there. Okay, so let's see what else we got. We have a pyramid for $26.43. It says it's 500 watts. Oh yeah. And then we have this boss subwoofer. And now, this is where it's a little odd, but if you go to see all buying options, this cheapest one is actually $25.99. So that would be the cheapest option that I have seen so far. But let's see what else we got on the first page here. We have this pyramid amp, or subwoofer, sorry. This pyramid subwoofer, we'll say see all buying options. So we got 27 or 25 plus shipping. Yeah, so that's not going to work. And that's 8 ohm. I don't want an 8 ohm. And then from there, we got one that's $38, $32, $32, So it just kind of goes up from there, as you can see. So it looks like the very cheapest one would definitely be this boss right here. So we're going to stick this one right here. Cool little sub, you know. Hopefully, we'll be able to blow it pretty quick, but we'll see. You know, just gotta clip the crap out of it and it should just explode, right? Anyway, so yeah, guys, I'm gonna pick this subwoofer up. Um, hopefully, it'll be here before too long, and as soon as I get a little bit of time, I'm gonna throw it in the car and we'll test her out and try to blow her up. Alright, guys, so the cheapest subwoofer came in. I actually came in a few weeks ago, but I'm just now getting some time to make the video. So this is the cheapest 12 inch subwoofer that you can get on Amazon, at least at the time that I bought it. This is the Boss CXX12. Now I just want to say again that, you know, I'm not discrediting Boss. That being said, I don't really like Boss, but this video is not a representation of the quality of their products. It's just something fun to do. So there's the sub. See if I can get this out one handed. So here it is. Actually, not a bad looking sub. Pretty thick surround here. So it should have a good deal of excursion. Got two leads. They actually are. Kind of stencil leads. They do go into the spider right there. They don't run just straight to the voice coil. So this is a single voice coil 4 ohm sub. So we're going to be putting it into one of my boxes and blowing her up. Okay guys, so we have this, still have this little JL in, in here. Um, if I can get 300 likes on this video, I will blow this guy up next. So, like away. The sub is in the box, and we are right at about four ohms. And we are going to be pushing it with the audio pipe APCLE 1500 1D, and this amp pushes 600 watts RMS at four ohms. And several people have dyned it, and it pushes right around there without any clipping. So that should be more than enough to blow this sub. So let's get to it. Here is a little better look at the amp. 
and just here are all my settings so everyone can see. Now I have the gain a little bit higher than I may need it, but I'm gonna be keeping the volume on the radio pretty low just because I don't really need uh, all the sound from the speakers. So as you can see, the sub was bumping pretty hard for a little, you know, $30 sub. Well, let's play something a little bit different now. This thing just burnt up. It's really hard to do with one hand. Woo! Dang, guys. That is insane. Well, let's cut this thing open and check out the damage.
So we have the cone off, which is a plastic cone, by the way. So the coils themselves actually didn't blow, or the leads themselves actually didn't go. Normally, if you have a lot of clipping, these will go right in here somewhere, but they didn't. But you can see it did get hot right in there and we had a little bit of glue kind of melt and shoot off. Dang, guys, look at that. Woo! Those coils are gone. So look at that. They just burnt up. Now could that be from clipping? Maybe. You know the point of this video was to blow it up. But the leads under here didn't go though. Dang. Well guys, I would say that was a success. Let's just get a little closer look at it. It leads up to here or all the way, we're just, just fine. But yeah, all this just got, it got hot. See it's leaving little residue all over me from the from the char dang guys that was so crazy there was so much smoke cool well anyway guys this little amp over here is great um i'm gonna be getting a sub soon that this thing can really push let me know if there are any rec recommendations on subs you'd like me to get that are around um, 1,000 to 1,500 watts RMS. Because that can do, this can do, I think, 950 at 2 ohms or like 1,350 at 1 ohm. So, y'all let me know. All right, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. That was a lot of fun. Saw a ton of smoke. Got some great internals shredded. Anyway, y'all. Um, let me know what you want me to make next. If I get, I think I said 300 likes on this video, I will blow up the JL sub. So, y'all please give it a like. Um, and also let me know what else, what other videos you want me to make. Either on the Jeep, the audio system, or on the Subaru, or just whatever you want me to do. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all again so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I am super close to a thousand subscribers, so thank y'all so much. Y'all have been awesome. Yeah. Anyway, guys, more videos coming soon. Um, I'm planning a big project. I've mentioned several times, but I'm planning a big project for this Jeep this spring or over the summer. Um, might include two 15s. Might include two of those amps. I don't know. We'll see. Drop in the comment what you'd like me to do. Thanks.